5 seconds to go start honorable speaker sir our government will implement following three schemes for employment linked incentive as part of the prime minister's package these will be based on enrollment in the epfo and focus on recognition of first time employees and support to employees and employers this scheme will provide one month wage to all persons newly entering the workforce in all formal sectors the direct benefit transfer of one month salary in three installments to first time employees as registered in the epfo will be up to rupees 15000 the eligibility limit will be a salary of rupees 1 lakh per month the scheme is expected to benefit 210 lakh youth this scheme will incentivize additional employment in the manufacturing sector linked to the employment of first time employees an incentive will be provided at specified scale directly both to the employee and the employer with respect to their epfo contribution in the first 4 years of employment the scheme is expected to benefit 30 lakh youth entering employment and their employers this employer focused scheme will cover additional employment in all sectors all additional employment within a salary of rupees 1 lakh per month will be counted the government will reimburse to employers up to rupees 3000 per month for 2 years towards their epfo contribution for each additional employee the scheme is expected to incentivize additional employment of 50 lakh persons we will facilitate higher participation of women in the workforce through setting up of working women hostels in collaboration with industry and establishing crèches in addition the partnership will seek to organize women specific skilling programs and promotion of market access for women shg enterprises i am happy to announce a new centrally sponsored scheme as the fourth scheme under the prime minister's package for skilling in collaboration with state governments and industry 20 lakh youth will be skilled over a 5 year period 1000 industrial training institutes will be upgraded in hub and spoke arrangements with outcome orientation course content and design will be aligned to the skill needs of industry and new courses will be introduced for emerging needs the model skill loan scheme will be revised to facilitate loans up to rupees 7.5 lakh with a guarantee from a government promoted fund to help students 
every year for helping our youth who have not been eligible for any benefit under government schemes and policies i am happy to announce a financial support for loans up to rupees 10 lakh for higher education in domestic institutions e vouchers for this purpose will be given directly to 1 lakh students every year for annual interest subvention of 3% of the loan amount our government is committed to all round all pervasive and all inclusive development of people particularly farmers youth women and poor for achieving social justice comprehensively the saturation approach of covering all eligible people through various program including those for education and health will be adopted to empower them by improving their capabilities implementation of schemes meant for sporting economic activities by craftsmen artisans self help groups scheduled caste scheduled tribe and women entrepreneurs and street vendors such as pm vishwakarma national livelihood missions and stand up india will be stepped up the states in the eastern part of the country are rich in endowments and have strong cultural traditions we will formulate a plan purvodya for the all round development of the eastern region of the country covering bihar jharkhand west bengal odisha and andhra pradesh this will cover human resource development infrastructure and generation of economic opportunities to make the region an engine to attain viksit bharat on the amritsar kolkata industrial corridor we will support development of an industrial node at gaya this corridor will catalyze industrial development of the eastern region the industrial node at gaya will also be a good model for developing our ancient centers of cultural importance into future centers of modern economy this model shall showcase vikas bhi virasat bhi in our growth trajectory our government has made concerted efforts to fulfill the commitments in the andhra pradesh reorganization act recognizing the need for a capital we will facilitate special financial support through multilateral development agencies in the current financial year rupees 15000 crore will be arranged with additional amounts in future years our government is fully committed to financing and early completion of the polavaram irrigation project which is the lifeline for andhra pradesh and its farmers this will facilitate our country's food security as well under the act for promoting industrial development funds will be provided for essential infrastructure such as water power railways and roads 
ਉਹਨ ਦੀ ਵਿਸ਼ਾਖਾਪਟਨਮ ਚੇਨਈ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀਅਲ ਕੋਰੀਡੋਰ ਐਂਡ ਪੋਰਵੈਕਲ ਨੋਡ ਉਨ ਹైదరాబాద్ బెంగళూరు ఇండస్ట్రియల్ కారిడార్ ఎన్ అడిషనల్ అలోకేషన్ విల్ బి ప్రొవైడెడ్ దిస్ ఇయర్ టువర్డ్స్ క్యాపిటల్ ఇన్వెస్ట్‌మెంట్ ఫర్ ఎకనామిక్ గ్రోత్ 3 కరోడ్ అడిషనల్ హౌసెస్ అండర్ ది పిఎం ఆవాస్ యోజన ఇన్ రూరల్ అండ్ అర్బన్ ఏరియాస్ ఇన్ ద కంట్రీ హావ్ బీన్ అనౌన్స్డ్ ఫర్ విచ్ ద నెసెసరీ అలోకేషన్స్ are being made stop